is Andrew Bustamante. Um, is he, he's definitely actually a CIA, ex CIA agent, mm -hmm. but is he, I guess, well, I guess we just agree on this, so it's not really a question, but it's more just, it's very obvious that he is a PR person. He is not, yeah, yeah. He's, he is not a guy that no longer works for the agency. He's just, I'm out doing my own thing and doing podcasts. Right, no, you're right. not. No. No, and, and it's also blood in, blood out. This yeah. is gang shit. These Literally. are these are literal gangsters. This is the most you think you're thing. walking out of there with knowing the shit you know and just what sits you're free. in sale? Yeah, yeah. No, go this live is, a happy life, buddy. You yeah. did all we needed you to do. Bye. Right. Yeah. Like, and, and also, uh, you know, the, just the stuff that he is confirmed to have been involved in, yeah. and the, the different um, parts of the world that he's worked. It's like that. They, that guy is gonna be his his vampiric you know, essence will be employed by that intelligence agency for the next 2000 years. Of course. He, yeah, he, he's got a 2000 year contract with them, but <laughs> that, but, uh, but, uh, he, so I guess my, my thing about him, like the obvious giveaways, I guess is my evidence proof that he's definitely the PR guy. Yeah. Is that like, he definitely is a reminder that all of the ideas that we think we have about, what that type of intelligence agency does mm -hmm. right are completely only informed by movies and tv that yeah. they have complete control over right information of, we're allowed to have of how of how they would operate yeah. right and from just from seeing him you learn so much <laughs> just viewing him just from visually looking at his like uh ambiguous ethnicity mm -hmm. and hair that makes him look like a dominican dude from those early 2000s yeah. movies he lets you know that like the Jack Bauer days, mm -hmm. the uh, John Krasinski days yeah. are over. It's done. Those guys probably are doing minimal, you know, types of operations that are probably selectively used, you know, maybe yeah. in European operations. Little things, things that are not that consequential. The big things, the agents that they mm -hmm. have are people that look like him. Yeah. People that are totally unassuming. He completely looks like a guy that you would be like, but not that guy. Yeah, yeah. Like we said, the people that don't fit the description of an authority. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I almost feel like it was almost like they gave too much away with mm -hmm. with a guy like that. They should have made him a little bit more like white, clean cut, because that kind of open starts to open up the can of worms of like. So who is who are the people around? You know, some of the people in diddy and yeah you know what i mean like it's like you start to look at some of these faces right and you think that well they don't look like they would be right this but right don't you think that that's intentional of course that's what i'm saying yeah. that, but he proves that is yes. what i'm saying yeah. he proves yeah. that that is the factor and mm -hmm. that is what they're more than likely going to present themselves as yeah when you have somebody that is uh infiltrating or someone that is uh, deceptive like mm -hmm. and they're from a professional good organization yeah. they are going to make it the last person you would expect and that's kind of who he represents in sort of our milieu of and, and it becomes relatable at that point yeah. for the people that aren't in that space you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. so what think about that a relatable figure what's that easier to do it's easier to sway the minds of more people who may yep. have been oh I, no no like, exactly. like you said the, the dude's like the white, like the uh, Matt Damon or uh, a Tom Cruise, you know, you see that guy in most people's heads. Oh, you yeah. fit that description. Oh, he's this. I can already tell by how he looks. Yeah. But now it's like with this guy, I can't tell it by how he looks, but I can tell it by what I'm being told. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's now flipped. Yeah. And it's it's bad. It's very yeah. bad. Yeah. I just, I, I think like, what do you think is the overall goal of somebody like Andrew Bustamante because they're taking a big risk having yeah. somebody that flagrantly out there of like, I'm a content creator that right. was a CIA agent and my content is about, you know, wellness or, or excelling in your career, but using the tactics of a spy, like just yeah. this commercialization of it too is very interesting. What do you think that is? I feel like they want to, ease like ease the acceptance of of the narrative right because with somebody like him and you said he's, he speaks on like wellness and tactics of a spy mm -hmm. and like yeah, it's yeah. like he probably i haven't seen any of his uh content but he, it's probably like much more enjoyable than anybody else that you could put mm -hmm. in that position right because mm -hmm. he, he, he may 
have the personality or whatever else it is. So I feel like they're trying to ease the narrative by placing him in the in the spot that they have because he is going to be able to generate and keep a, a either a whole new audience or a same audience that was there but not pulled in yet. Yeah, but just literally like, with with like the the smallest limit of just his appearance. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like his appearance alone can get that, but when you actually like go start listening to him, yeah, and like they tell you he's ex ex CIA, right? If it was current CIA doing those same things, it would not translate the same way. And I, I, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Do your, no, I was just gonna say like he. Um, it, I, I wanted to just hover over what he talks about. For mm -hmm. a yeah, the content. I know, I don't yeah, the know. content of a lot of his interviews mm -hmm. because. You know, what's the first thing you want to ask somebody that has been like an agent in the field? Like, what are our biggest threats? Yeah. Like, what are your biggest threats? What kind of things have you done? Like, right. Yeah. All that stuff. And he, you know, he basically kind of outlines that the standard rule is that you never reveal, you know, methods and practices like how they do something mm -hmm. or where they do something. They're never going to tell you. Yeah. That. But they'll you know, they can kind of explain in vaguer terms. Yeah. And that's one of the, he had such a great opening, like a couple of, couple of lines on the original, I think Joe Rogan or mm -hmm. somewhere that I saw him. one of his first big ones, I think it may have been Lex Friedman where he's like, you know, there's actually a lot you can talk about that, you know, people, they just feel, uh, too loyal to the, to the, to the organization that they don't want to break the code of silence. They yeah. don't want to tell the American people. And it's like, wow, that was such a great, that way sells people yeah that sells people truck. bro and it's like if i wasn't if i wasn't a person that works in sales mm -hmm. and like understands how to change like get somebody on your side bring the manipulation yeah that's, that's all it is. is and i just heard how he kind of rolled that out and yeah. brought that out and i'm like this is a guy that they they have doing something very important yeah he is not wasted talent you think a guy that effective is who okay let's believe his story right yeah. that he just stood up a business him and his wife in like less than you know a year after them quitting i'm sure they have tons of money because they were you of know course. working and probably you know saved tons or whatever but they just are on joe rogan like boop, like, like so willingly biggest podcasts in the world yeah. like pop i'm here like i just suddenly appear in your algorithm yeah suddenly i'm just here and it's like the giveaways like if we weren't doing a show like this if we weren't actively engaging with the algorithm and seeing how difficult it is to sort of break into that cycle we wouldn't have the same take we wouldn't be able to speak to this with confidence yeah. and it's like yes our show obviously is not the production value of their show no, yeah but there's ours tons, way better yeah ours is a million times better they are gonna it's gonna take them decades to catch up yeah. to our expertise <laughs> and level production design but the 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 way that they just kind of inserted that mm -hmm. person's persona yeah his and now he's like a face that you remember right you see him and he, he has this uh it's it's such a stupid thing that for him to say he was like um oh you know one of the number one things you want to do is you want to be forgettable you know when you're uh vi visually forgettable when yeah you're, uh, when you're an agent in the field and he's you know, the opposite you yeah you want people and i'm like are you trying to like play a joke on me so he's got like a fro and yeah, shit I was like, are you trying to like see how stupid i am right now because you look like a guy i'll never forget if i saw your face anywhere in the world i'd be like yeah. that guy that I, I saw. i've seen him once in my life 10 years can pass i remember your face so i i think maybe that works for like white people i think white people fall for that because they're like yes brown careful man. bro but, well of, of course all due respect to a quarter of you and <laughs> no, I'm not my, talking off me and, and my fiance, but no, the, I'm with that. The, 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 the thing is, I think other people might fall for that because they're thinking kind of in general terms where they're yeah. like, well, yeah, if he was in the middle East, he looks, he does not look middle Eastern. I could look at that guy. You could look at that guy. You and could tell. definitely look at that guy. Yeah. And be like, that's a, why is that a Dominican yeah. guy in Claim, Syria? Claiming like, me. Bro, if I was in Syria and I was like driving in a hum, Humvee and or his Humvee passed my Humvee and I was like, that's You're a, stopping. I'm like, that dude is a, definitely a Dominican dude, mm -hmm. Puerto Rican dude. And he's, he's intelligence. <laughs> get away from that car. Off I would, your first pass by? Immediately. I'd be like, yo, <laughs> yeah, get yeah. as far away from that car as possible. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd do. I'd be like, that dude is, is not Arab at, at all. I mean, since, since we're on that, you know, the topic of these types of people just being randomly inserted isn't it kind of crazy how many people these last few years have been popping up that follow that like the same path to get to get to that point which isn't much of a path or just kind of there's so many content creators right i've never in my life for the past like four to five years seen so many random ass people just pop up 
Well, it like one, it's like, and I know it's the content creation era that I'm, I'm fully it's not aware even that. of that. I, I, like I was just talking to Ali about this yesterday. Here's my other conspiracy theory. We're just doing unsubstantiated ideas for this episode, yeah. guys. We were going to talk about anime, but you know what? We felt this was the better route. To yeah, go with. You, you know what? Y'all, y'all have Crunchyroll too. Yeah. Watching anime. Yeah. You know, tell us we'll, about. We'll get back. Why to don't it. you? T- why don't you do us? A, yeah. Do a show for us about anime. Yes. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> pass the torch to you guys for an episode. <laughs> no, but. Uh, Oh shit! What, what you and Ali? What you told Ali about did all I, these random people? Are just did I start this whole thing off of talking about Shogun? Original, our first one was. And then how did I get all the way into this? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't think we didn't start this one with Shogun. No, no I know, I know. Yeah, but, we I mean, did because the, it was like Hulu, <laughs> and then the streaming service. Then I said something about it was like Hulu and Fox being owned by the other, and then it just here we are. I don't remember the initial point where hey, it passed guys, over, but it's been a long week. It and has, and guys. honestly, guys, like there's just so much to talk about. That's, uh, you know, it's enriching. I think just in the exploration of ideas, it's healthy, bro. It's healthy. It's a good way. If this is your, you know, second monitor content that you're listening to, if you're on a long drive, just pretend like we're, you, this is friendship yeah. simulator time, guys. 